if you ever wanted to look like a badass with a lightsaber, hi there, I'm Marky Dodo and today I'll be showing you how to create your own lightsaber effect in Photoshop without any plugins. First off, make a picture of yourself as something like a toy lightsaber so you make it easier for yourself later on. Next up, you put the picture you just took in Photoshop and if you want it to look more badass, you should press Ctrl J on your photo when you select it. Then you go to raw, then you go to filter and press raw camera filter. It's also possible to use a shortcut, Ctrl Shift A. But I've already done that. So once you've done that, you make a new layer. I'll call it real quick Saber. And then you grab the pen tool. You can do it by searching through the toolbar, but you could also press P. Next up, you zoom in and go make the same pathway as the reference you took. So like a toy lightsaber. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll be back to you guys. All right, after you've done that, you go to paths, hold control and click on work path. Next up, you'll want to make sure your background color is set to white. Then you press control backspace. After that, control D to deselect. Now make a new layer and switch the color to black. Press control backspace again, select both layers, the white and the black. Press control E to morph it into one layer. Next up, you want to change the blend mode to screen. Now you have a white staff. After that, you'll press right mouse click on the layer selected and press slash click convert to smart object. After you've done that, you go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. You change it up to 12.5. It depends per situation. Sometimes you have to go lower with your first. So I'll go for five because it looks better with me. Then press twice, Ctrl J, so you have two more copies of that layer. Now you'll change it up by a little bit, see what looks better, what doesn't look better. All right, once you've done that, you'll want to group it up so it's less chaotic. For that, you press Ctrl G, saber. After that, you want to put this on screen again with blend mode, and then you go to this bar where you make new layers. But instead of making a new layer, we want a we want to change the hue and saturation. You'll click at the colorize and here at this square with the arrow. Put the saturation all the way up. Since my character has a blue lightsaber, I put the hue on blue. After you've done that, you can also add a blue light shadow. That's to make it all look a little bit more legit slash better. You want to make sure you copy the color of your lightsaber so it matches the face with the character. And then just have the brush 100% and go over the face of your character and a little bit over the lightsaber to make it more legit. After that, you want to change the blend mode to overlay or soft light. It depends on situations. Sometimes soft light looks better, sometimes overlay, that's up to you. Once you've done that, you'll go back to that uh, bulk all the way down with the making new layer and you click this one. Now you change the color to black. Once you've done that, you're finished, you're done with the whole Photoshop edit. Alright, that's how our character looks now, and I think I did a pretty good job. Anyway, thanks for watching, this was it for today, I hope it was really helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below, or you can always DM me via Instagram, link is also down in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching, subscribe if you want to see more, press the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with my latest content, and then I have one thing more to say in this. How do?